yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is Q and A, Peruvian style, with Anna and Ava. And we emailed a guy. Who is in Peru? Is Renzo Eterino? I don't. It's hard to pronounce. It's Peruvian. And he grew up there, and so we wanted to know there, so a bit about him. Want to learn more about their culture and what it would actually be like living there. So we want you to come with us on this journey. Just go next <laughs> So his response to this was that it depends on the age. And he emailed us that as a kid, um, life in the United States is more structured and better resourced than in Peru. And generally speaking, American children have access to more structured activities than Peruvian kids. And the last difference was that um, Peruvian children go to school for 11 years versus the 12 years that you have to go to school in the U.S. Um, from what he can remember, school moves faster through math and science in Peru than in the U.S. Um, as an adult, life in the United States is far more individ individualistic than in Peru, according to him, and where life t tends to be more um, collectivist due to family structures in Peru. Um, social mobility is far more difficult in Peru than in the United States, and while Peru is developing and growing rapidly, poverty is still rampant. Approximately 24% of the population still lives in poverty. His response to the question was that it depends on where you're going. You could use either an automobile, an airplane, or public transit in Lima, which is the capital of Peru. It's fragmented, but abundant. Okay, so his response to his third question was that um, Peru is much smaller than the U.S., and its population is approximately 30 million people. Its economy is also much smaller, and Peru's um, debt is approximately $200 billion. So, his response to question number four was that soccer is the most popular sport, tennis is also popular there, volleyball, um, was a very popular sport in the 80s, mostly played by women, and surfing. Also, he said that some of the be world's best surfing spots are in Peru. What he said was that it depends where you live. In Lima, the capital, um, houses sit within an urban setting. Apartment living is common. And in more remote areas, housing varies. His response to this question was that the cuisine in Peru is very delicious and he highly recommends it. Some of his favorite dishes are chavique and lomo saltado. Um, he says that he was 11 years old when he moved from Peru. His response to this question was that the transitioning between cultures was challenging for several reasons. One, because he did not know the language, which was English, and also because American children are much different than Peruvian children. Okay, so... He said that um, major issues in Peru were terrorism, hyperinflation, and extreme poverty when he left. Since he left, the country has made incredible strides towards its development. Life there today is very different from when he left as a child. His response to this question was that the main religion of Peru is Catholic. So his response to the last question was that the two main ethnic groups are Mazitos and Indian, Quenchen or Amaran. 
Um, he is not sure of the percentages. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you learned a bit about Peru and what life could be like with it.